My mother told me someday I will buy galley with good oars, sail to distant shores, stand up on the prow, noble bark I steer, steady course to the haven, humany foemen, humany foemen. My mother told me someday I will buy Gully with good oars, sail to distant shores, stand up on the prow, noble bark I steer, steady course to the haven, human foemen, human foemen. My mother told me someday I will buy. Hey, hey, what's up? How'd y'all like the debates? Um, <clears throat> what's my opinion of it? Well, that's really irrelevant now, isn't it? Um, I'm already going to vote Trump. So my opinion of the debate is relevant. Um, I can't tell if he won or lost because I'm biased. We're going to talk about that. Um, but first... Let's talk about this, um, this gal, uh, Kara Spencer. Okay, so your boy has been monitoring the situation very closely um, with the Board of Aldermen here in St. Louis, uh, monitoring their, uh, their propositions uh, and their amendments. Um, okay, so the, the, the biggest thing with the COVID well, a lot of things. Um, from one, it was a, it's, it's a money grab. So, <clears throat> you know, we need to be tracking money on, on where, uh, you know, uh, cities, Democrat, Democratic cities are using this whole COVID to get money, um, whether it's taxpayers' money for, for a virus that's, you know, um, ridiculous. Um, <clears throat> so... Anyway, um, but this, this gal here is interesting. Um, she has a uh, fascinating career. Uh, she's, she's got a degree in mathematics. Um, she's been in business for uh, 15 years. She's an alderman for the 20th ward. Um, we have reached out to her for an interview. We haven't heard anything back yet. But what is the fascinating thing is uh, Miss Spencer is running uh, for mayor in St. Louis. So if she can, um, you know, uh, to beat out, um, I forgot her name. I think it's Kyra or Kyra something. Um, she's a blonde girl, Democrat from the city of St. Louis. Um, so we're, want, we're monitoring the situation very closely with the aldermen's and we're seeing what's up with that. Um, we was able to get a transcript uh, of the meeting right here. Um, so we'll be reviewing that for discrepancies. Um, it's all it's all done via Zoom, <clears throat> so you can't even go down there. Um, and that's just the situation. Oh, if you look at here, see here's their thing. Uh, COVID here, we'll click on it as a thought experiment. Okay, so they have they have a banner at the top: COVID nineteen information. And watch, it's going to go to the city, the uh, Department of Health. Boom, there it goes. Um, I ain't no fucking, eh, you know, reopening guidance, case counts, um, all that. Now, so so that's interesting uh, situation there. All right, now let's talk about. Um, Let's talk about let's get let's get into the notes real quick. Um, how to win uh, information, propaganda, ideological, media marketing, psychology. Um, okay, so it, it's gotten to the point where like we're gonna have to start logging all this stuff because it's 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 all moving so fast and there's so much information 
that just to try to memorize it is not good. Um, we need to we need to to log all this and be able to track it. So the, let's talk about the debates. Um, I don't, I don't really care about their numbers. I mean, it, it, it's all, it's all bullshit. Okay. It was all fake. Um, it was all fake shit. What concerns me more is not that is not that they're throwing out fake shit is that the, the population can't identify it. So <clears throat> there's two ways we can look at how to win this war. And that's what I, why I put how to win the, and I got this other here too, that we're working on. We're monitoring currency cold war, which we're in right now. This is very important with the transition into digital currencies. And then there's this aspect. Now, the reason, the reason this is very dangerous and it's like full on war. And I use that metaphorically. Um, I don't use that in a literal sense, but it's, it's very dangerous because we're going down a path now where it, it, you know, big tech or, or, you know, whatever elite power, whatever power structure at the top is going to have, hold on. I got to get something out real quick. Yeah. All right. Had a had a frog in some boiling water. Um, that it's going to be to where um, you know what they're here. They're, the plan is becoming more clear now of what they're wanted to do. Um, yes, this has something to do with uh, we're, we're in a reset right now. Um, they're trying to transition off the old settlements, the SWIFT program, and, and the dollar to. Um, you know, more like cryptocurrencies for the for the people. You can have your cryptos, but when it comes to international settlements, they'll have some kind of like maybe a you know instead of the dollar, maybe a universal currency or something. I don't know. Or we'll have a new digitalized currency, a U.S. digitalized currency. Um, that that that's 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 okay. That's whatever. Okay. Um, then there's this on the ground is a little concerning because if you walk into a red, it's going to get to the point because so many people are, are just brainwashed and do exactly what they told that it's like, okay, now you have to have a cell phone to, to do anything in the city. Like if you want to go walk into a business, you got to have, you know, all this, you know, you have to have basically like, you know, your whole file has to been approved. Like, you got your shots, you got this, you got that. And you scan in to get anything you want, any type of goods and services. Um, so we're going to have to have a breakaway civilization, which we'll have to get, we'll have to win on the ground level to bypass all that. Like, I don't really like this COVID tracking thing. I don't like this mandatory vaccine vaccinations in it. And I really don't like the fact that you can't do anything unless you have that. Like you can't, um, go into a business you can't you know uh, get your license you can't go to court you can't do anything unless you do all these things um also to you understand um the homeless people right now this is a major uh, situation with the fact that ca i mean cash and currency is no longer being accepted in, in major uh banks and, and retail stores or whatever Okay, so anyway, jumping into this. Now, there's two ways to look at it. There's, there's the one way where we educate the population, right? Okay, because if people, if people just, like, the reason people don't think that, that know anything about, like, this is an economic reset is because they don't know anything about the dollar. That's one thing we really have to train. Like, we have to infiltrate the education system and teach major um uh subjects like bring them up to speed so that they can uh recognize certain things so when you say okay we see educate the population uh like um a um identify uh, uh propaganda and 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 stuff and and what i mean by identify propaganda is mean like um how to look at um 
like how to look at uh, camera angles, okay? That's important, a camera uh, angle. Like, um, don't just, like, that's important. Like, hold on, who's, who's got the camera and why are you just, like, who do you think's filming this? Um, like with the Rudy Giuliani thing, that was a, a, like a two second clip. If they're just showing you that, that should ring um, alert bells in your mind. Like, why is it just a, a one to two second clip? I mean, that's, anybody can just make up a narrative and push it out. And it's completely untrue. I mean, I could totally doctor a, a, like a whole fake story and just put it out and just say, oh, this was just entertainment purposes only. And if people don't look to see if it's been like, if it's real or not. So it's, it's learning how to like read camera angles, uh, like learning how to, um, um, and, and we're talking, I want to talk about propaganda uh, right now, real quick. Okay. So, and then we got to, okay, as far as Google and stuff, like as far as what they're doing, this should be a prime example. Okay, I'm in a different browser than I normally use. That's important. Um, I'm not signed into my account. I, I never search any things. So if somebody was to go on to their account, this is the first thing they would see, right? Breaking news. Joe Biden compares first and last presidential debate, The Hill. Four takeaways from the final Trump-Biden debate, Wall Street Journal. Liberal, liberal, liberal. Breaking down key moments from the final presidential debate. CNBC News, liberal. Senator Mike Lee on presidential debate, defined victory, Fox. Conservative. Analyzing key takeaways from the final debate, Good Morning America, liberal. Each candidate solidified their bases in the debate. CNBC television, liberal. Trump shifts tone in second debate and candidates clash over C CBS News, liberal. Trump and Biden debate Nashville here on the key, Yahoo Finance. That's kind of debatable, but that's pretty much liberal. So you have one conservative outlet out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight advertising, um, YouTube channels, right? It's it's one out of at eight that's conservative. So the reason I got into a browser I never used, which is Google Chrome, and I didn't sign in <coughs> and I didn't search, which saves your history and, and creates a profile on you, is to get a non-biased um, point of view of what they would show you, and that's how they can manipulate public opinion. Is is this is a prime example of how they can manipulate public opinion. Okay. Um, also, I would like to show you, um, I was reading this uh, Wikipedia page uh, um, and it's, it's the Trump Tower Wikipedia page, right? Trump Tower Wikipedia page. And if you go all the way down here to uh, uh, this picture, it says the waterfall in the atrium described as gaudy by a farmer's review. And if you click on the picture, to me, it looks absolutely 100% gorgeous. If you're sitting down in this atrium, right, and having a, you know, a lunch or something, and you had this big uh, waterfall, I would, I would be looking at it the whole time and say, wow, this is gorgeous. So if you look at the definition of, of gaudy, and I don't know why they even threw that in there, it says, Ostensive, ostensive, ostensively, I can't pronounce it, or tastelessly uh, or, ornamented. So it's basically saying like flashy, marked by extravagance or sometimes tasteless showness. See? So when, <laughs> and that's what they've been trying. I don't really, Trump doesn't really come off like that to me. I, but that's just me. I don't. I'm the type of person that don't really give a shit about that. I really just give a shit about policies. Like all that side shit, I, don't, I tend to ignore. But some people, it really does affect. Um, so that's one of the things that they, they've been playing up uh, for their for the left side is that, oh, he's, he's, um, he's flashy, he's tasteless, and this and that. Um, so it's little, it's little things like that. By, by just dropping it in a, a, you know, a Wikipedia page. Now, you know, for us that are in our 30s and 40s, 
<laughs> it's different, but you know, but this, but this type of stuff trains like 10 year olds and 15 year olds who are reading this stuff and they're growing up to be, you know, liberals, I guess. Um, and that's what happens if you have a complete dominance of, uh, you know, big tech, you know, they're, they're going to, it's not, the battle's not really now, the battle's 20 years from now and how all these young sh uh, minds are being shaped. So this, so those are, um, idea is propaganda. So let's go back to our list here. Now there's, there's two ways we can try to win this war. Educate the population, how to ID propaganda, um, you know, like, uh, bring them up to speed, um, uh, about like, uh, economics, um, like, uh, you know, uh, currency, world, uh, let's just put world, um, currency, right, um, history, uh, you know, um, I would say cybersecurity, because um, how to understand, like, for example, big tech and how, you know, cybersecurity can motivate you. But mainly, I think it's, it's economics. Um, uh, what else is very important that should be taught, but that's not taught in the, like the educational system is um, uh, business, like as far as um, LLC and yourself as a business. Um, I think, okay. Like I think um, one thing's important to understand about uh, what was I going to say? Uh, okay, is Google or, or, or what, what they're doing with the, um, the, the, the breakup of Google or the antitrust is what they really need to be considering is, is the information. Like, okay, for example, if I just go back here, right? I'm not signed in, but let's imagine if I was signed in, right? All my data is being, is being saved in the Google's um, uh, data centers. Um, like my whole file, it never gets erased. Um, so even, even if you used to opt out of all that, they're still doing it. And, and that's what they need to be. If, for the antitrust or, or the crackdown of, of big tech is that, that they need to be like prosecuted. We, they need to run like operations investigations to see if, if a person is opted out of having any of their information being recorded or saved, but yet it still is, they need to be like just plain out arrested. Like you lied. And that's the big problem I don't have with Google is that um, if I don't want any of my information tracked and I was to, to switch a button like under settings and say, I don't want any of my information tracked. I don't want any of my information sold to third parties and all this net. They still do it though. And we know they do it, but we can't prove it because you can't get a file of, you can't get your uh, file from um, the data centers. They did stories about this years ago. Like if you go down to like an actual headquarters and stuff and you request your file, like you can't get it in, you know, on, on paper enough. Um, so, you know, if what we need to do is, is figure out like a browser that you can sell your own data. That's how it should be. Like if we're moving in the future, it should be like, you're a business or your own LLC and, and everything that like your output is you're selling. And they kind of like with, it's kind of trying to do that with cryptocurrencies and like the brave browser and mines where you get, you earn, um, uh, cryptos you know for um like putting in content uh mines is like that that's how we need to deal with like youtube is a bit shoot should do that like they should award you a certain amount of like cryptocurrencies but i mean at the end of the day cryptocurrencies is not shit if, if it can't be used for um barter like if it's if it's not a real currency like it's got to be used to be able to buy and sell goods and services that's at the end of the day is what a currency is. Um, so there's that. Um, 
Okay, so there's there's one there's two things we I think we should do at the same time: educate the population, be able to identify like the fact that um, if they knew that the, how the dollar was crashing and stuff, then they could connect that with um, the COVID. But since most Americans don't know about that, it, they don't they just think this is a, like a real health crisis. They don't know that this is complete wag the dog bullshit. Um, yeah, there's a man-made virus, um, and it was released to to be able to it was a dying, designed not to kill anybody um because they didn't want real panic but they wanted the, the the illusion of panic and shit or the illusion of like a real virus um and here's another thing like this is why i've lost all all all, all confidence in, in the intelligence community it's like i know this but you don't know it you do know it and, and it, it's come out of somewhere um it's come out of between the u.s and and um and britain they probably um have uh brainstormed this and if you do know it, okay, and you're monitoring it or whatever, maybe you say, say there's a department that had nothing to do with it. Um, what are you going to do about it? Um, you got a plan? Um, I'm for a soft reset. I'm for a soft reset. I don't want a hard reset. I know that a reset has to happen somewhere or the other. I get that. But the fact that you're making people, like, I'm not – you know, to, to wear a mask is like, that's abuse. Okay. People that go into churches, they can't even touch hands. Like, you know, Catholic church, you do a, uh, there's, a, there's a time in the, the mass where you go, uh, peace be with you. And you shake hands. You're basically giving out love and acknowledgement to your fellow man. And you can't even sit next to anybody. Like, like I, I went to a Catholic church, everything's separated. You got to wear a fucking mask. You can't do that. You have to like, just wave at somebody when it comes around to the peace be with you. That's abuse. That's abuse on the population. Getting back to how we win. Number two, we have to understand that it's all fine and dandy to educate the population, but we also have to to win with like we have to play the game um, <laughs> with sound bites. It only takes three seconds for to launch a YouTube video. You have three like as soon as somebody clicks on a YouTube video. You only have three seconds to get their attention. One, two, three. That's our attention span. If you don't catch them within the three seconds, they're gonna turn. They're just gonna turn it. Um, because that's how television is nowadays. And I say television because that's basically what YouTube is. It's it's television. Yeah, maybe under a different medium, it's internet, and it's 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 definitely. Um, morphed into a different, you know, it's, it's evolved into something different, but I don't know how else you explain it. I don't want to get the exact details. What I explain, oh, this is, this is internet streaming, you know, uh, video file format sharing, whatever, television. Okay. Back in the old days, um, you know, everything's marketing, everything's marketing, right? So now you have three seconds. So what are we going to do to try to educate them within three seconds? No. So we need to be doing both at the same time. We have to play their game with stupid um sound bites you know this is this is like this is the marketing game right um what else um you know uh it, we have to create dumb shit basically dumb material dumb entertaining material entertaining uh, material dumb stupid sound bites like you know it's whatever to win the info war, basically, you know, more or less. You know, sound bites, dumb, entertaining material. So there's two things we need to do. One, educate the population on certain on certain things. Two, let's play the game. That's why we need um, new content providers. So if you're if you're listening, try to get involved. Um, reach out to. Uh, you know, for one, like, share, and, and subscribe. Uh, I'd like you to do that for my channel right now. Um, and, uh, you know, to um, reach out to the YouTube providers, uh, either donate money or ask what you can do. Uh, you know, if you can help out anyway, if you can edit material for them or whatever. A lot of it's hard to trust people because there's so much um, infiltration and shill, shill op shit. Um, it's, but I'm just trying, I'm just thinking out loud. I mean, 
think of ways you can evolve, um, do petitions on the streets, do flyers. Um, I'm going to be looking to, um, I'm trying to contact the alderman. I'm trying to contact city of St. Louis to see how we can reverse this mandatory mask law. Um, it's just, it's so ridiculous. Um, if I have to get out on the streets to do a petition, I will. Um, I got no problem with that. We'll be doing a real survey, um, after the elections, we're going to get started on that, um, door to door, um, getting all the, it's going to be, it's going to be focused all entirely on this. It's going to be questions about this. It's going to be questions on like where it's going to be a whole fucking proper survey, um, on like where people like, do they know certain key things about economics? Do they know this? Do they you know, what's, what's their major, where they get most of their media from, where they get most of their politics from, what is their politics? It's going to be a true demographic survey, which we're going to be doing uh, 2021. And we're going to be, we're going to be re recording it live to prove it. You know, we're not going to just pull out fake ass numbers like mainstream media does. Like you didn't know you didn't, you didn't do a real survey. Where are you getting these fucking numbers? I don't know anybody who does real surveys. Have you ever had a, a knock on your door? Somebody asking you questions. Have you ever had a phone call? Somebody asking you, hey, I'm doing a survey for CBS. Would you be interested? I've never had that. Think about it. When you're talking about simulation shit, think about it. Put two and two together. So, you know, I, and this information is important. We can't trust mainstream media. So we're going to have to do it ourselves. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. Um, like, subscribe, share. Other than that, y'all have a good rest of your motherfucking day. Got it with good doors. Sail to distant shores. Stand up on the prow. Noble bark I steer. Steady, steady course to the haven. Humanity foemen, humanity foemen My mother told me Someday I will buy Buy Gully with good oars Sail to distant shores Stand up on the prow Noble bark I steer Steady, steady course to the haven Humanity, foemen, humanity, foemen.